what we really wanted to achieve here is like, well, why, you know, why make this really fast car? That an electric car is the best car. Tesla just unleashed a game changer that's rocking the EV universe. An aluminum ion battery boasting an incredible 550 mile range. It charges faster, runs safer, and skips cobalt and lithium entirely. This isn't a buzz. It's a quiet revolution reshaping everything. Tesla's real ace isn't a new car. It's the battery, the pulse of tomorrow. Don't look away. Smash that like button and subscribe now, because what's next will leave you speechless. Batteries were always the weak link. Everyone thought so. Everyone bought it. Lithium dominated the talk, how to juice it quicker, keep it cooler, nudge its life a bit longer. That was the challenge. That was the fight. But while the industry bickered over small tweaks, something big was brewing under wraps. Not in headlines, not at flashy events. In a hushed, sealed lab in Austin, Texas, Tesla was crafting something that didn't just bend the rules, it rewrote them. It began not with a discovery, but a bold question. Why keep battling the same old foe? Lithium's flaws, degradation, overheating, slow discharge. What if the issue wasn't the battery's size or chemistry, but how energy flows within? Enter aluminum. Not just a substitute, but a reinvention, highly conductive, plentiful, moving energy lightning fast without choking. It started small, sketches, test cells. Then it clicked. Tesla's team cracked aluminum's Achilles heel, ion lock. Normally, aluminum ions lag in releasing energy. But with a new carbon graphene blend, spiked with atomic level induction points, they unlocked what they call quantum burst discharge. The outcome? Instant power. No delay, no dip, no chemical roadblocks. It's like swapping dial up for fiber optic, but for battery flow. That flipped the script entirely. The limit wasn't how far your car could go anymore, it was how fiercely it could surge. EVs stopped being about stamina. They became about pure, untamed power. Supercapacitor-like force with full-pack storage density. And Tesla made it real, not on a lab bench, but in full-scale units, tucked under test vehicles, tearing up private tracks while the world chased lithium's ghost. In Tesla's high-voltage lab, the stats weren't supposed to slip out, but they did. They didn't just show progress they showed a jump. 7,000 W per kg. Five times better than Tesla's own 4,680 lithium-ion cells. That's not just a battery. It's a controlled blast, harnessed through software-tuned pulses, rivaling fuel injection yet staying cool, steady, reliable. These aluminum-ion cells didn't swell under pressure. No need for extreme cooling. They actually got stronger as heat rose. Lithium cells falter above 40 degrees Celsius. At 60 degrees Celsius, they risk meltdown. Tesla's new cells? They hit peak performance at 85 degrees Celsius. Where lithium fails, aluminum shines. Why? Energy transfer doesn't depend on heat, it's driven by pulse resonance, sparked by a new signal controller in the battery system. Tesla calls it QBC, quantum burst control. It doesn't just manage power, it sculpts it. Even after 10,000 full cycles, tests showed zero output loss, not a single percent. Same power, same speed, same range. That's 25 years of daily charging with no fade. For Tesla, that wasn't a flex, it was the baseline. 
Because this battery wasn't destined for a high-end sedan or a $120,000 showpiece. It was built for something entirely different. Tesla didn't just craft a new battery. They engineered an entirely new kind of vehicle around it. Something the industry still can't fathom is real. Codenamed Project Redwood internally, it's set to hit the streets as the Model 2. Priced below $16,000. Range of 550 miles. Charges in just 5 minutes. That's not hype. That's what Tesla's already shown at exclusive test events. A full charge in 5 minutes using a level 4 aluminum-ready charger with quantum burst modulation. This isn't a dream, it's practical, scalable, and happening now. When journalists got a secret ride in the first pre-production Model 2, they weren't clued in on its power source, but they felt it. This wasn't some budget EV. It roared like a beast. 0 to 100 km per hour in 3.2 seconds. Quiet, fierce, unstoppable, not just once, but again and again, with no thermal slowdown, no delay, no drop in performance. Porsche Taycan's overheat after a few sprints. BMW's i4 throttles at 50 degrees Celsius. Tesla's aluminum ion machine. It just kept hammering. That's when it sank in. Tesla wasn't playing catch-up. Everyone else was eating dust. While old-school carmakers pedal $60,000 EVs with 30-minute charge times and delicate battery setups, Tesla's gearing up to flood the market with a $15,000 electric rocket that never quits, never overheats, and charges faster than you can sip a coffee. The real shock. It's not just a better battery, it's affordable. Not tomorrow. Today. This isn't a prototype. It's rolling off a streamlined production line. Modular, efficient, fully integrated. Every cell is made in-house with materials ten times more abundant than lithium. No cobalt, no nickel, no supply chain chokeholds. Just pure, homegrown speed in the most accessible EV ever built. Nobody saw it coming. Not what followed. While the world fixated on lithium, cobalt, and conflict-ridden minerals dug from war-torn lands, Tesla turned to something so common it was practically invisible. Aluminum, Earth's third most abundant element, lightweight, durable, endlessly recyclable. For years, experts scoffed at its battery potential. Too unstable, too reactive, too basic. But Tesla rewrote the story with a crystalline structure laced with graphene-like lattice tweaks. The aluminum core didn't wear down, it grew tougher. Each charge tightened its framework. Not degradation, but activation. This cell didn't just ditch lithium. It eliminated cobalt, nickel, rare earths, and reliance on China's mines or Congo's toll. Just scalable. American aluminum, refined with AI-driven ion layers that self-align under load. The real game-changer? Heat. What destroys lithium fuels aluminum? As the battery heat. Its internal pathways grew more conductive. No fire hazards, no swelling, just pure efficiency, boosted, not hindered, by extreme heat. In deserts, on racetracks, under stress, aluminum didn't just endure, it excelled. With lithium supply chains buckling under global pressures, this wasn't just a tech victory. It was a strategic strike, a supply chain revolution, a bold move only Tesla was ready to make. Then came the moment skeptics couldn't believe. The EV doubter's mantra, charging time. Always the same gripe, EVs are fine, but who's got 40 minutes to spare on a road trip? That argument just collapsed. At a private investor demo, 
Tesla rolled out a bare-bones Model 2 prototype, cloaked in black. Engineers hooked it to a standard supercharger, no fancy gear, no special cables, and started the clock. What happened wasn't a gimmick. It was a game reset. Five minutes, not 50, not 30, to hit 80% capacity. The crowd didn't cheer, they froze. The impact was massive. No new infrastructure, no nationwide overhaul, just a new battery chemistry and a hypercharge system designed to funnel energy through nanostructure channels without heat spikes or anode damage. Those tiny pathways, built via AI-guided models, let ions flow like liquid lightning, dodging the bottlenecks that plague traditional batteries. And, shockingly, the cell stayed cool. No fans, no cooling coils, just pure, efficient energy transfer. Post-demo surveys from Tesla dropped a stat that hushed every skeptic in the room. 65% of EV-wary consumers named charging time their top concern. That worries now history. But it's not just speed, it's endurance. While lithium ions crack, weaken, and lose juice with every tough cycle, Tesla's aluminum ion setup does the opposite. Each cycle reshapes its ion lattice, like bone mending after strain. Even after 500,000 full charge discharge rounds, the battery held 100% performance. That's over a century of daily use with no drop off. This wasn't just talk. Tesla tested the cell in urban delivery van scenarios, with hard stops, heat swings from minus 10 degrees Celsius to plus 90 degrees Celsius, and rapid acceleration loops mimicking uphill towing at max load. Output never wavered. Temperature spikes never forced a shutdown. The battery shrugged off stress. Regenerative braking? It's a whole new beast. Aluminum ion superconductor paths recaptured up to 98% of braking energy. In city traffic, that added 20% more range, not from charging, but from stopping. You didn't just brake, you recharged. Thermal throttling? History. No more, your car's cooling, hold on. Drivers can push aluminum ion to the limit in desert heat, under heavy loads, at track speeds, and the power stays steady. No fade, no lag, no ease up, you're pushing too hard. Just pure, consistent power on tap. Unlike overhyped solid-state prototypes languishing in labs or costing $80,000 a pop, this wasn't a pipe dream. It was real, tough, and ready. The world's most ridiculed element just rewrote physics. And Tesla was already shaping the future around it. But forging the future takes more than tech leaps. It demands a new battleground. Tesla's revolution didn't end with chemistry, it found its stronghold in a massive factory deep in Mexico's industrial core. This wasn't just any plant. Giga Mexico was Tesla's first facility dedicated solely to aluminum ion battery packs. Every corner was built for speed, efficiency, and scale. Out went lithium's water-heavy, sluggish wet coating process. In came dry electrode manufacturing, a breakthrough slashing billions of gallons of water waste yearly and cutting production time in half. This factory will churn out half a million battery packs annually, using just a third of the space lithium plants need. AI orchestrated robots handled 98% of assembly, with humans focused on quality checks and quick fixes. This wasn't just automation, it was an industrial juggernaut built to outrun rivals. Logistics? Lightning fast. Battery modules went from assembly to delivery trucks in under 72 hours. That pace rewrote supply chain rules, leaving legacy manufacturers scrambling with weeks or months of delays. 
This factory didn't just make cells, it launched an era of energy freedom. Tesla's vision didn't stop there. One plant can't reshape the world, so they planned a fleet, dozens of microfactories spread globally. By 2026, 35 units were locked in across 12 countries. By 2027, the goal was 100 microfactories in 20 nations, each pumping out 1 million battery packs yearly. This wasn't centralized control, it was a decentralized production grid. Each microfactory ran independently, smart and agile, driven by AI systems that tweaked output based on real-time demand. This bold move broke the lithium monopoly, shattering the grip of China and a few refining giants. Tesla's network cut transport costs, dodged tariffs, and erased geopolitical choke points. Energy production turned local, adaptable, and relentless. It wasn't just a factory, it was a living, global energy hive with Tesla at its heart. So, what's it like behind the wheel? Everything changes. Hit the accelerator, and the power hits instantly, a torrent of torque with zero lag. No hesitation, no fade, no excuses. It's raw, unfiltered force, delivered with pinpoint precision. The Model 2 rockets from 0 to 60 in just over 3 seconds. Unlike supercars, this power repeats endlessly, no thermal timeouts needed. Haul a trailer uphill, carve tight corners, or zip past highway traffic, the power curve holds firm. No degradation, no throttling, no pause. Ludicrous mode kicks in lap after lap, sprint after sprint, and the battery scoffs at heat buildup. The Model 2 feels less like a car and more like an extension of you, a rocket on four wheels with a steering wheel. Test drivers describe an eerie bond, the car seems to predict inputs before the pedals pressed, tweaking energy flow to match their style and the road ahead. It's like the vehicle reads your mind, sinking power in real time for peak thrill and efficacy. This isn't just driving, it's a seamless dance of human and machine. This isn't just a car, it's a revolution on wheels. A peek into a future where energy flows freely, swiftly, and reliably. Tesla's aluminum ion battery isn't merely a tech breakthrough, it's the pulsing core of a new age. The world is just starting to grasp its potential. That power isn't trapped in a lab. It's cruising down roads, parked in driveways, sparking possibilities we never dreamed of. A single Model 2 battery pack isn't just for driving, it's a global game changer. Delivering up to 2 megawatts instantly, it can illuminate 200 homes, run heavy machinery for hours, or power entire communities during blackouts. Tesla's not just selling cars anymore, they're offering mobile energy hubs, portable reactors turning every Model 2 into a decentralized power station. Bidirectional charging makes the car more than transport, it's a lifeline. Homes, trailers, even small towns can tap electricity straight from its battery. Picture a world where every parked Tesla feeds the grid during peak times, easing demand spikes, stabilizing networks, and empowering communities to stand on their own. The aluminum ion system's resilience and efficiency make this vision real, weaving every Model 2 into a vast, distributed energy network. This isn't just a car launch, it's a declaration of freedom, a salvo in the quiet battle for energy's future. The Model 2 isn't only a vehicle, it's a beacon of innovation, rebellion, and a new global order in motion. As the lithium era fades, one question lingers. How fast can the world catch up before it's left behind?